In this episode, we will create a simple tic-tac-toe game using the flat module. Players will have a choice of two colors, red and blue. The first player to make a line of three boxes vertically, horizontally, or diagonally will win the game. The first thing we do in the code is import the flat and the JSON module, which will be used later on in the code. We then define the main function that takes a page object as an argument. This page object will be used to create and manage the game's graphical user interface. Next, we set some properties for the game window, such as the title, width, and height. We also set the window to be frameless and center it on the screen. We then create two empty lists, player red and player blue, which will be used to store the positions of the game pieces for each player. We also create a list called fields left, which contains the positions of all the possible fields on the game board. We then create three lists, horizontal lines, vertical lines, and diagonal lines, which store the positions of all the possible winning lines in the game. For example, the first element in the horizontal lines list is 13, 15, 17, which represents the positions of the top row on the game board. We then combine these three lists into a single list called lines, which will be used later to check for a win. Next, we define two functions, close and win. The close function is called when the player clicks on the close button at the end of the game. It simply closes the game window and updates the graphical user interface. The win function is called when a player wins the game. It sets the text color based on the winning player and updates the graphical user interface to show that the game is over. The drag accept function is called when a player drags and drops a game piece onto the game board. It updates the game board to reflect the move and checks if the move resulted in a win. If the move did result in a win, it calls the win function. The check win function is called by the drag accept function to determine if a player has won the game. It takes the current player, their list of game pieces, and the list of winning lines as arguments. It then loops through the list of winning lines and checks if any of them are present in the player's list of game pieces. If a winning line is found, it returns true to indicate that the player has won. Otherwise, it returns false.